Hello guys, myself Jitesh and today's topic I will show you how to install Kafka and execute one sample program. Not program basically, I want to show you how Kafka is actually run in your system. So basically what is Kafka? First question is comes into this mind. So basically Kafka is an open source distributed event streaming platform as per the Kafka website you can see on my screen. Like uh, Apache Kafka is an open source distributed event streaming platform used by thousands of companies for high performance data pipelines, streaming analy analytics, data integration and mission critical applications. What it means? Sim in simple term, basically it's a streaming, distributed event streaming and data comes into the pipeline where another things picks the data and use it. So how you get the SMS, how you send the SMS, other person have a um, seen, the, uh, other person have get notified by the SMS, by the ringtone something. Okay. So what happened? There is one is push subscription, another one is pull subscription. Okay. So this is a kind of streaming platform where Apache Kafka used. It's, it's widely used so, uh, as per the beginner level. I am showing you how to install in your Windows PC especially. Okay. Even if you go to this docs, it will show you the Linux based system, but I, I will show you how to run Kafka in Windows system. So first of all, go to the official website that is the Apache kafka.apache.org basically it's a apache project okay if you want to read you can go through and read so many things are here basically this is the high throughput scalable performance permanent storage and high available these features and capabilities inside a kafka so let's download the kafka so go to the download kafka click the download kafka here and you have a source download and binaries download so go to the binaries download and i want to download latest one just click one here so it is going to start in my machine i hope it will download within a moment till the time you can like this video subscribe it and share with your friends if you want it's not compulsion but if you do it it's give me more motivation to create new videos and more knowledgeable videos with our regular things okay so stay tuned with us i will give you every single point where you are going to mistake i will fix you with you but you have to stay in this video okay so make sure please subscribe this my channel so that you will easily get other things okay so basically, I am the startup here. So please uh, uh, give me some motivation so I can go ahead with do some more stuff in Java related platform, basically in Java stack. So today I will show you the Kafka in Windows by the command mode. And the next video, I will show you with the Java program, how to put data into a stream basically a topic and how to pick the data from the topic so basically there is one topic where we can uh, put the data and other one is subscribe to topic so it's a topic uh, basically it's a kafka responsibility if you have a data then send to the, that particular person okay so now here our kafka is downloaded now open it's open see in simple term just extract and simply extract here okay now you have a tar after tz is again it's star again extract okay so now it, this is the kafka basically so i am doing just rename to kafka okay simple kafka and i cut control x and under c i just paste it okay so you have to do these steps you have to paste 
I just put it here, but you can put anywhere because uh, we need some type of uh, um, CMD thing. So I want to put minimum path here. That's my only goal. Okay. So once your Kafka is pasted into your C directory or any directory, go to the config section. Under config, you have to modify two files. First one is server.properties. Just right click, open with notepad plus plus or anyone you have it. Reload. Okay. Now you have a logs directory. You can see now here there's a logs directory. So just put your directory like C colon KAF K -A Kafka and Kafka logs. Okay, just save it. Control S or simple save it. Close it. Or uh, you can open to next one is zookeeper dot property. Basically, zookeeper is a third party which manage the servers of the Kafka systems. Okay, so zookeeper is this one who just manage the intensity. You can say manage the communication between the two Kafka servers. So we need some kind of utility thing that is a zookeeper. So we need zookeeper also added. So basically, there is a zookeeper data directory. So again, we need to put C colon Kafka Kafka zookeeper slash data. Okay. So I am updating the data directory. Okay. Control S. Save it. Now what is what is what's next? What next? Next is open the Kafka, open the bin. Here you can see there is a some kind of sh file. This is used in Linux server and Windows specific files present under Windows folder. So I need to open the Windows specific folders. Okay. So here open the CMD command prompt. You can open it here, but best option click the address bar, put the CMD and enter. It will open same position from here. Okay. Okay. So this is one way. Another way, open the Kafka, open the Kafka folder and put CMD. Okay. Now I want to execute some bad files. Which bad files we want to execute? The first file is we need to start zookeeper server. Okay. So what is the command? Bin slash windows because the file present under windows and under windows there is a you can see zookeeper server start dot bat this file we need to start with some configuration which configuration i am showing you bin dash windows dash zookeeper start bat and space uh, we need to pass the file name which way we will we will pass the file name the file name passed by simple i already give, put the command i will paste into the description section so you can easily execute from uh, copy paste okay but for time being i am writing down so you can do it practice also slash now config slash zookeeper dot properties if i hit enter now what happened program zookeeper started so you can see some type of logs is open this is showing zookeeper started zookeeper started okay so this is the you can see zookeeper so this is zookeeper showing this is started no error means it is started simple we need to minimize it and open another command mode from where from kafka from kafka we are opening cmd now we need to start what zookeeper is started now we need to start kafka especially so okay so again windows slash if you put tab it will simply next 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 it will come, next command it will come so kafka start somewhere kafka server start dot back and same same what we need to pass config file which config file we need to pass basically in the first command we are passing zookeeper zookeeper 
host the data directory and in the second command we are passing server.bat this we are passing server.properties which is basically a logs directory okay so simple i am copy pasting or simply i can paste write it down not an issue okay so config slash which file we need to pass server.properties server.properties and hit enter if you hit enter now our kafka server started okay so if you see there is no error it means kafka server started now kafka server is started now what happened we need to create one topic so basically in the if you go to the docs official website docs and come down here so you can see how to start everything you will see here also okay so first of all we need to start the server zookeeper server and then we need to start kafka and then we need to create a topic got it we need to stay, uh, create a topic which topic this is the topic why we are creating a topic because topic stores your data actual data stores into the topic so it's store the event basically okay so which command this is the command this is for the linux but we are transform into the windows so which windows command we need to put something happened what happened let's see time out why okay so i hit again same command and it's executed sometimes it's happened you need to struggle these things in the computer science again this is coming now we will show you what's the fallback i think i already installed previously so i am facing this one okay so let's me fix it first okay so we fix it basically in the fixing nothing i did just cl just close the uh, black window basically cmd window and again restart the command now it's resolved okay now we need to create a topic we create a topic same way creating open the another uh, cmd window and creating the topic kafka topic dot bat minus one is create this command i hit if you want to describe your topic just hit this one same just another describe so i will show you in the topic what is happening in the topic we are creating partitioning count one replication factor one config topic name is this one partition zero replica zero these things we can see now what we need we need to start producer we will need to start producer i can hit same message into this window not an issue i hit producer okay so now our producer is start now same time we need to see open the consumer also so again cmd consumer consumer code consumer consumer comma this is the consumer this is the consumer command okay this is the consumer command and same you can see i am passing 9092 host make sure 9092 i am passing okay if i create a topic 9092 and start the producer 9092 so same host i am starting so i am hitting consumer also now see what happened now see make make the point make the point here this is your producer and this is your consumer right this is your producer and this is your consumer you can see na consumer dot bat and this is the producer dot bat so let's hit something my first event you can see in the next strain it is coming my second event i hit it is coming so anything you can type how many type you fast you can see na let's see if you pass the blank space then it is coming also anything you can pass okay so same time we are giving our message 
to the producer and consumer picks my message okay if you want to close it just control c terminate yes terminate enter here same same way you can do control c terminate yes terminate okay so all things you can terminate by control c or simply close one this one just close it close it close it and this is also you can close it okay so what happened i showed i show you how to install kafka in your windows pc with some with the help of these commands okay in the next video i will show you with the java how to send data into a topic and how to create a topic from the java and how to create a producer class consumer class something we will show you okay so for this you need to subscribe my channel okay thanks for the watching we will thank you very much bye bye